Hey trader, hey, it's Andre Campbell. I'm gonna go over risk management or money management, a very, very important part of your training success. And it's one of the areas where a lot of people miss or they fail to realize how crucial this is. Now, as you're going through your training, as you're learning, you're gonna learn a lot about lot sizing, you know, everything from a micro lot to a standard lot. Now, a standard lot is where everyone usually wants to aspire to. You know, at this point, with most broker platforms, you're getting for every 1.0, which is a standard lot, about $10 per pip. So very simply, if you put on a trade and it went 50 pips at $10, guess what? That's $500. If it went 100 pips, you just earned $1,000. Congratulations. Now, once again, lot sizing is very, very important part of the risk management money management system. Go more in depth into your trading and understanding from a micro all the way to a standard lot. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go through and keep this thing very simple. I'm gonna kiss it, keeping it super simple. If you don't remember anything else from this training, remember the 2% rule. The 2% rule is gonna give you time to perfect your craft, to master the mundane. It's gonna keep you in the game of trading well beyond the novice or the amateur trader. Now the 2% rule is very, very simple and it's basically saying never risk more than 2% of your entire capital at any one time in the markets. Now what they found over the years through much research that that 2% rule is kind of like the golden mark, you know, to keep you from blowing or losing too much of your capital at any one time and it keeps you psychologically sound in the market. Now, with the 2% rule, you can see here, it would take 50 consecutive, that means in a row, losing trades for you to annihilate, blow up, lose all of your money. Now, with in trading, you can have streaks of eight to 10 losing trades. That can happen. Sometimes the markets, for whatever reason, no matter what the analysis is, can do its own thing. Now, with all your learning, with our systems, you know, if you ever lose 50 consecutive trades in a row, I want to know about it. You know what? As a matter of fact, if you lost 20 trades in a row, I would want to learn about it. You know, our systems are very sound and they're dynamic and they simply win. But once again, this 2% rule is very, very important. I would go as far to say is, if you don't believe it, trade without it and see your results, trade with it and view results. Now, 20 losing trades in this example at 2% is about a 40% loss of your total account size. 20 losing trades. Once again, I would be very shocked and surprised if you lost 20 trades in a row. Now, here is the difference between an amateur and the professional. You know, the amateur comes in and they're looking, well, how much can I gain? They're looking to swing for the fence for the home run. And they're not really concerned with how much they can lose. The professional trader, we look at first, how much is this going to cost me? How much can I lose on this trade? And once again, everything I'm going over, I am speaking from experience and I experience itself for myself. So I know that it works and I know the pain you'll experience if you're not mindful to follow it. Now, the novice trader comes in and they say, you know what? I'm gonna risk 10% on this given trade. It doesn't matter where the trade comes from, your own analysis from a system, from signals, it does not matter. You go in and you're risking 10%. Now, if those 10 trades came in a row at 10%, you would annihilate or blow your entire account. You have $1,000, you know, you're risking $100 each trade. It doesn't take long for your entire account to be wiped away. So once again, Remember the 2% rule. All you have to do is calculate 2% of your account balance and do not risk more than that in the market at any one time. So that means if you're going with a full 2% and you have X amount of dollars, that should be it maximum. If you wanna have multiple trades, break that up. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is give you an example, a real life example, and this is something that I did not really comprehend, grasp, or understand when I began my trading journey. Now, if you can understand this, comprehend it, and you could apply it to your trading, 
you are going to do better than 90% of the men and women throughout the world who will ever attempt this. Because here's a simple fact. We all are in this to earn money. We all want to earn profits, especially if you're beginning from a position of a small amount of money. Your desire is, you know, I need to grow this money. I need to earn money. I need to pay this, pay that. And we understand that. But here's the thing, right? Patience and understanding the system. System stands for saving yourself time, energy, and money. So let's say in this example, you have a $20,000 account. Now, this is what I want you to understand because a lot of people think, well, if I had more money, I can earn more money. This is what we have found, right? It does not matter if you have a $200 account or a $2 million account. If you do not understand proper risk management, having a bigger account just means you're going to lose bigger amounts of money and you can still take that account all the way down to zero and people have done it. But once again, if you understand the system, save yourself time, energy, and money, you can take a 200 account to a $20,000 account. Now, $20,000, 2% of that, once again, the 2% rule comes out to very simply $400. So what does that mean? That means out of your $20,000, you cannot lose more than $400 at any one given time on any one given trade. Very, very simple. So this means, you know, as you're trading, you're putting on your lot size, you cannot risk stand to lose more than $400. That should be the maximum. That is it. Totally. Now, once again, a novice trader, they'll say, you know what? I got $20,000. The broker is giving me a lot of leverage. You know, I'm going to risk 10%, 20%, 30%. And they end up losing because here's what happens right in this example, right? After just one loss, right, your balance goes from $20,000 to $19,600, right, using 2%. Loss number two, your balance is down to nineteen two hundred eight. Number three, you can see it keeps going down. Now, here is a key thing to understand about this, right? When you began, your balance was $20,000. Now here, after five trades, your balance is no longer $20,000. It's $18,079. This means now your 2% is no longer of $20,000. Your 2% should be adjusted now to $18,079. And that's vitally important. You know, a lot of new traders, they begin trading and they begin losing and they're still taking 2% of 20,000. So they're saying, you know what? I can lose $400 each time. No, no, no. The numbers don't work like that. You have to calculate 2% of your current balance. So this works both ways. As your balance begins to increase from 20,000, 21, 25, 30,000, you now have 2% of a bigger account balance. And this is how you incrementally grow it over time. Now, after law six, you're down to 17,717. Now, here's the key thing to understand, right? When you tally everything up, it's a little almost $2,300, right? Just over 11% of your total account balance, which was $20,000. This means you have enough capital left in your account to do what? To win, to come back. You had six losers in a row. You may have now six winners in a row. But the key thing is to understand, you follow the 2% rule. Think about the person, the man or woman, this same example, and they followed a 5 or 10% rule, a 20% rule, right? 20% just said five losing trades. They're done. They're out of the game. Now you have to go search and look for more capital to trade with. That is not where you want to be. You want to remember this 2% rule and you want to follow it. Now, understanding this, the next thing I want you to understand is risk to reward. Very, very simple. Once again, we're going to kiss this thing and keep it super simple. Risk to reward means simply this, right? In this example, I'm risking $20. That's my risk, right? That could be 20 pips. If I'm doing a dollar per pip, I say, hey, you know what? The stop loss is 20 pips. I'm risking $20. But in this case, I'm risking 20 
to gain just $10. This is what we call a two to one risk to reward. Now here is a vitally important thing for you to understand. If you're using a method or a strategy or a system where you're risking 20 to gain only 10, that system has to be almost 70% accurate, 67%. That means you have to win that much, 67% of your trades, almost seven out of every 10 trades, not to make a profit, ladies and gentlemen, just to break even. I want to repeat that. That is just to break even. And this is something, once again, when I began, I didn't really comprehend. I really didn't understand. This is why when you don't practice proper risk management and you get down, it's so hard to come back. Now, let's go on and say you're utilizing a system that gives you a one-to-one -one risk to reward. This means you're risking $20 to pick up $20. You risk $40, you're looking to gain $40, right? And I'm speaking in pips, one pip, one dollar, right? So very simply, here, notice the difference at the break-even point. Because when you win, you're winning just as much as you lose. You only have to be right 50% of the time to be a break-even. 50% of your trades. That means out of every 10 trades, when you win six trades, you are in profit, you are in money. It gets even better, right? Here, we're looking at a one to two risk reward. This means I'm risking $20, but when I win, I'm winning $40. This is where you wanna be. Or you wanna risk $20 to win $50, $60, you know? One to two, one to three, even one to four. With the one to two here, you only have to be right 33% of the time to break even. So you know what this means? If you can lose out of every 10 trades, you can lose half of them and you can still be a profitable trader and earn profits right here. Risk to reward is crucial to understand in your trading. So this means if you're setting a stop loss and that stop loss has, let's say in this case, $20, I'm doing $1 per pip, you know, and you're going for a one to two, that means your profit target should be at least double that away. Now you have a much better risk to reward. This means you can win less trades and be more profitable than the person who's doing a two to one. Now, here's something that happens over and over. And this is something I want you to understand. We're all on our own individual trading journeys, right? Now, what I'm about to show you right here, if you're a new trader, you may even be an experienced trader. This is something that we're all gonna go through because we're all human beings and the markets have a lot to do with psychology and just the way that people think, right? What you wanna do, very simple, we're gonna kiss this thing. You wanna make sure you have small losses and that your wins are larger than your losses. That is it. You wanna define your risk, keep your losses small and your wins bigger. Traders, let me tell you something. If you can do this one thing, if you can minimize your losses, I mean, cut them early, fire that trade, get rid of it, and let your winners run, once again, you will be profitable, more profitable than 90% of the men and women around the world who attempt to do this, right? So here's what happened, right? Now, in this case, we're gonna start out utilizing proper system and following what we've learned, the 2% rule. But here is what happens to people. It happened to me, it happens to many people, right? You take trade one, once again, this trade can come from your own analysis, it can come from one of our systems, it can come from a signal, it does not matter, right? It is all the same. You are entering a trade into the financial markets, right? Trade number one comes out, you win that trade, you feel great, you feel good, you're practicing the 2% rule of your account balance. Trade number two comes out. It's a bigger trade where you're feeling great, you're happy, uh, everything is going good, your system is working. Trade number three, you have a small win, but you still want the trade. You're practicing proper risk management, proper money management. Trade number four comes out. This is a big win. Now at this point, you know, you're a human being, you begin to feel a little euphoric. You begin telling your friends, your family, your spouse, your husband, your wife, whoever it is, family members, hey, you know, I got this. This is the best thing since sliced bread. 
I see myself now being able to get that new home, car, pay off debt, you know, college student loans, whatever for the kids, right? You begin to see a clearer picture of how this can be very beneficial to you going forward in the future. So at this point, this is where you have to be vitally careful because what happens, right? Trading is going to trigger off, you know, endorphins. Uh, you're going to have even physical responses to trading. You're going to feel euphoria. You're going to get excited, you know, when you're winning. So at this point, this is where I would say the majority of people begin to say, you know what? I practice a 2% rule on the first four trades, just 2%. But what if I was trading at 10% or 20% or 50% and you know what happens? You're going to have two voices talking to you. One voice is going to be the voice of greed. And that voice is always on the calculator, always calculating, well, you know what? We need new tires. We need to pay this. We need to do that. We need to do this. We need to make money now. That voice wants you to drop the hammer, put the pedal to the metal, go for broke. That voice wants you to gamble in the market. That voice wants you to forget all the training, all the risk management. That voice wants you to forget system, which stands for save yourself time, energy, and money. So here's what happens, right? You listen to that voice. Now the next trade coming up, you go for broke and you put on more than the 2% rule, 10%, 20%, boom. You go into that trade and guess what happens, which will happen. That trade is a losing trade. Trader, this is what I want you to understand. Always remember this. Nobody knows. I don't know. You don't know. This is must not know. No one knows which trade is going to be the next losing trade. If we did, we'd put 100% on all the winning trades and we'd all become gazillionaires, right? The losing trades are going to happen. They were a part, they are a part of trading. So now you've put in 20% risk on that one trade. This may have wiped out all of your profits. It may even go on a little bit of your original starting capital. So at this point, you know, you took a hit, you're feeling kind of, hey, I don't know, you know, but here's what's going to happen, right? When you lose, especially when you were doing so well, that same voice who wants to go for the gambling, who wants to risk it all, that voice is going to be saying one thing to you. Hey, listen, we need to get our money back now. We need to get back to break even. This means if your account was at 200 and now you're down to 150 or 100, that voice is going to tell you, you know what? Put everything enough on there to get us back to break even. You know why? Because until you get back to break even, you are now working for the market. You're no longer in profit. You're now working for the market, fighting and struggling and uphill, trying to get back to break even, right? So here's what happens. You give into that voice. And you say, you know what? The first four trades are winners. I took one hit. You know, this system I have right now is so great. There's no way I can lose this next trade. You go into the trade and boom, you have another losing trade and you put another 20% of your capital at risk. At this point, you're feeling shaky. You know, you're going to be having, you know, bad feelings. You're going to have doubt begins to drip. Listen, traders, to do this, you have to be confident. There's no room for doubt or fear in your trading plan. Once you begin to let, allow doubt to drip your subconscious, you know what's going to happen? Everything you're doing is going to become harder. And it's going to cause you to make mistakes, see things and do things that you would normally not do. So at this point, you're unsure of yourself. You may say, you know what? I need to take a step back. And this is why it's important to demo trade first and practice, 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 and never risk money that you cannot lose in the market. This means don't take your retirement money. Don't go out and take the money from your family and place it in the markets. You never, ever, ever want to do that, right? But once again, if you follow these rules, the money that you do have exposed to the market, you will be profitable, right? So here's what happened, right? After trade number six, now you're doubting yourself, you're shaky. You know, the next trade comes out, you say, you know what? I'm just going to let things cool off. You don't take the trade and guess what? Boom. Trade number seven is a the biggest trade yet. 
everybody in your trading group, you know, your friends, everyone say, hey, you know what? We won this big trade. Did you get a part of it? It could have been Bitcoin. It could have been indices. It could have been stocks. It could have been Forex, gold, or it, it does not matter what it is, right? But everyone won this trade. And guess what? You didn't even take the trade. You know why? Doubt, fear, you know? from listening to that voice. So now you're uncertain, you're on the shaky grounds. At this point, you're no longer a professional trader or attempting or aspiring to be. You're just a gambler now who has a lot of doubt, right? So guess what happens, right? You know, you're shaking that one off now, everyone's euphoric, everyone's feeling good. And you say, you know what? You know, whatever system I'm using, wherever the trades are coming from, Obviously, we're in a we're in a roll right now. Things are going good. You know, I'm gonna get all my losses back, right? From five and six. You go in again and you over leverage again, not utilizing the two percent rule. At this point, you begin to feel very disheartened. And here's what I want you to understand, trader. You know, trading can be a learning lonely journey. You're the one pushing the buttons, you're the one taking the trades, you are the one, the master of your universe making the decisions. But you know what's going to happen? Everybody around you, your family, your friends, they're going to know when you're in a good mood trading and they're also going to know when you're in a bad mood trading. You know, your body language, your emotions, your voice, your tone, it's all going to come out. You won't even be able to hide it. You know what? I suggest getting someone to be your accountability partner. If you can get them to do one thing, is to hold you accountable to risk management, your trading journey is going to be a profitable one. So at this point, you know, you're feeling, <laughs> you're just feeling bad, feeling bad, feeling sad, right? Uh, you say, you know what? I definitely need to take a step back right now. I need to go back to demo trading. I'm not, I don't even want to see the next trade. The next trade comes out. It's a winner. At this point now, You've gone from feeling sad to feeling mad. At this point, you're saying trading's a scam. You know, how did you get me into this? You know, the brokerage a scam. Everything's against me. The market's against me. At this point, you're on the emotional roller coaster. At this point, you feel like someone's sitting over your shoulder that when you go for a buy, the market goes into a sell and vice versa. You know, you feel, I've had people tell me at this point, they feel cursed. God, why is this happening to me? And it all comes down to one thing. You did not follow the system to save yourself time, energy, and money. Ladies and gentlemen, this is like universal laws, like the law of gravity. You know what? You have to follow those laws. When we break those laws, and trust me, I've broken them and felt the pain. When we break these laws, it's not going to be good. And then trade number 10 comes out. It's a winner. Now, if you look at this scenario, this is the emotional roller coaster of trading. Remember this chart. Watch this video again as you're going through ups and downs. Because once again, why? There will be losing trades no matter what system you're utilizing. The key thing is small losses and larger wins. That is the key. Now, let's speak about dealing with losses as we get ready to wrap this thing up. I want you to understand no system, no trader is going to be 100% accurate of the time. Losses are just a part of the game. So you want to address that, realize that. So when you go into a trade and you say, you know what, I have a loss, no problem. Because once again, you should only have small losses. That's it. So you look at a loss the same way you look at a win. Don't get too low on the, on the lose, losses and do not get too high on the wins. I want you to understand this. Most big trading firms, banks, you know what they have? They have traders there, you know, trading the capital, right? But know what they also have? They have a manager watching that trader, monitoring that trader. And you know what? It's not just to make sure that the trader isn't risking too much. It's also to make sure that man or woman, when they begin winning, they don't get too euphoric. They don't have the big head. They don't have the ego, which we all have inside of us, right? They want to make sure they're listening to the right voice. That voice who says, you know what? Take your time. You know, the next trade is coming. This is a small loss. You know, follow the system. That is the voice you want to listen to. What I suggest, always follow your system, your trading plan. It will be like your yellow brick road to success. You know, I suggest to always utilize a stop loss. I know there's some traders, there's some systems, 
they don't utilize a stop loss. But what I found for myself is that if I don't place that stop loss there, then it becomes very subjective, right? Because you may say, you know what? I want to only lose 40 pips. Now it's at 50 pips. Oh, it's going to come back. Now it's at 60 pips. Now you've taken the power out of the system to help you automatically. Now you've inserted your emotions. You've inserted that other voice who's going to say, well, you know what? It's going to come back. You know, don't worry about the stop loss. And now remember the key thing. You want to have small losses and bigger wins. And this is one of the main ways for novices and amateurs where a small loss, what could have potentially been a small loss, turns into a big loss, possibly even blowing their account. And then also follow the 2% rule. While you're doing all this, if and when you follow these rules, you're going to be able to control your emotions. I can guarantee you this, traders, if you do not follow this rules, these rules, you will not be able to control your emotions. You know why? You're a human being. You know, you have real money on the line. Once again, this is why I suggest demo trading first until you master the basics. You always want to review and grow your trading plan. And once again, you have to maintain your confidence to have long-term success with this. In closing, here are a few fundamentals of trading. Number one, be in the training program. You know, what program are you learning? You know, what program are you trying to master? You know, if you're following myself, you know, our systems, we have great programs that can take you from A to Z. Number two, what I'm going over right now, money management, risk management. This is one of the most overlooked aspects of trading and traders forget it very quickly. Once again, especially when things are going good. Number three, which really may be number one, psychology of trading. You know, I would suggest get as much material as you can on the psychology of trading. This is one of the things, not only in trading, but also in life, that determines whether you will be a success or not, whether you'll be able to even follow the trading plan, even follow the 2% rule. Last but not least is the trading system. Now, this is what I want you to understand. The trading system is what the novice or the new traders, this is what they think is the most important, the trading system. Well, you know what? If I had the right indicator, the right system, the right signals, the right this, then I would have found the holy grail. The trading system is last. It's not the system. You know why? You can have the best trading system, the best software, but if you don't understand risk management, money management, and if you don't follow it, there is almost a 99.9% .9 chance you will not have success over the long term. Yes, of course, you can go into the market and have a few wins and you can double, triple the count very fast, but very quickly and soon, the market, whatever strategy you're utilizing, will have enough losing trades where they will knock you out of the game, blow your account, then you're done. Now you're looking for more money to fund your account again. You don't want it to happen to you. My recommendation, follow the system and prosper. Once again, listen to that voice that's telling you to save yourself time, energy, and money. Hey, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. You know, look out for other great videos to help you on your training and your journey. Hey, once again, my name is Andre Campbell. And as always, I am willing you prospering in life and in business.